Welcome, Sagitt uh, Ophiosis. Ophiosis, Ophiosis. Welcome, everyone. If you were born November 29 until December 17, you are an Ophiosis, okay? So now that November 29 to December 17, you are an Ophiosis. Welcome. This is the reading um, for you guys. It is the Abundance of Money and Prosperity reading. Um, this reading has to do with uh, the flow of your abundancy, um, the flow of your money and your financial stability. Um, it is a season reading. It is for uh, the Sagittarian season that begins November 22nd until... Um, December 21st. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share um, um, these readings. Thumbs up. Please set your notification button on. So what is happening and what is transpiring is that you see four um, layers at the top with symbols. We have the rose, we have the onyx, um, we have the green um, target, and then we have a uh, um the shoes now what is happening and what is transpiring is that you are being aware and aligned um with a certain energies that was transpiring and i see a positive alignment of energies is going to be coming up a lot of you are dealing with uh, two um, people um one is a fire sign person um between the age of 18 and 45 and the other one is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion woman. Now, what we see here is some sort of uh, interference. The Six of Swords is an end. An end has come in for a fire sign person. Now, as an Ophiosis, it could have to do with some of you, um, a completion. So um, what this reading is saying is that uh, this situation... Um, that was affecting your money, your influence, the flow of your uh, money or the flow of your financial stability has to do with someone was using science in order to block you um, and block your abundancy and financial flow. So um, you can see that the, and it says it's science. So I never guess whenever these cards, whenever I'm using this deck and this energy of science come, um, because uh, people, um, it's not, it's not a secret that other people use uh, science, witchcraft, whatever they call it. Uh, they have so many names for it to block other people. And I see that this was a situation that some of you were dealing with that this young person was creating this block for some of you. So if you notice the science, um, it can be an end to um, what was happening. Um, an end has come in. Um, somehow someone could have seen that, cleared that for you. Sometimes people watch us over you or sometimes you um, say, you know, you call up or you're thinking, why is it that this is happening? Why is it that that is happening? And your guardian angel speaks up on it and will work on it. And this is why I say to people, call up on your guardian angels. Um, it, you know, with abundance, prosperity and money flow, it has to do with uh, materialistic wealth. So call upon the angels of abundance because this is the energy of the abundance reading. So um, I always say to people, instead of you worry, whatever the problem is, you need a parking space, you need help to find someone to work on your car, call up on the angels of mechanics. Um, and, you know, you don't have to say it out loud, just think about it. And that is how the spirit will work. Whatever you think and whatever your thoughts is, you send it out and they will exhilaratingly help. And I see that some of you are wondering, it's kind of strange, strange why, um, you know, money is coming in and as it come in, it's going out and then you're going to start to ground it and then they're going to be telling you why and then they're going to be looking to see what has been happening with your flow. And this is what I say to a lot of people, ask and it shall be given. Some people just sit, worry, worry, worry. You need to ask. As you ask, you, you will um receive help okay so as as if 
um, it was happening. And this is the thing, how powerful you Ophiosis are, is that once you think something, your spirit guides and your um, um, star family is going to be helping you with it. So instead of you worry, just say divine, um, uh, divine light universe, uh, however you call up on your spirit guide, I self, I guidance, please remove whatever is blocking me from having the financial flow and prosperity that I need to have. And I see that some of you could have done it and it accelerate the shift of energies. Okay, so that is in the first week. So um, be aware, ladies and gentlemen, we all have to wake up because a lot of us are still sleeping and we have to wake up and realize that sometimes other people will just block us because we we have been climbing the ladder and they haven't. And the thing about it, what they don't understand, if you're not climbing the ladder, it's because you have envy and jealousy within you. And that is what is blocking you. And people will pay their money, their last money, in order to see someone else don't flow. And this is what is happening. The Prince of Wands. A lot of you are going to be finding out um, that this person has created some sort has been creating some sort of an issue for you, and I've used a lot of uh, forces, unknown forces, unseen forces, in order to block you. And now an end is coming in because you stand a completion of this person. So they're going to be finding out, um, and some of you could be finding out that a Aries person, um, whether old or young, could have been using science in order to create some sort of a blockage and some sort of an issue. But I see your angels and guides come in and is releasing you and removing this person and this situation from you, breaking whatever they had created and releasing you in the universe for you to create your own abundance and stability. And this is going to be good. So this person could have been working where you work. This person could have been um, just being a bystander that is just very, very jealous. Whoever this person is, is a man. This man can be um, an, an Aries. It's coming up as an Aries. Um, and this person has been creating a whole lot of uh, um, negative issue and situation. And I see an end is coming in for this person. So they're going to be um, really ending whatever that was transpiring so that you can receive a flow. So I would say um, that, you know, if you have someone in your life, this is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person that has been creating, <clears throat> which sometimes it comes up as like kids because this person could be a kid because it's a prince where your child is always more money, more money, giving them more money and that sort of a thing. Um, it can be your child, but I see this is a situation that is saying that whoever was using that form of forces in order to block your flow it, and end this coming in because you're moving away from the person or the situation because this was some sort of a negative flow of situation um that people had created you're you're ending this uh, by standing your ground and leaving this behind and this is going to be really powerful because you're going to be finding out uh, that uh, you can make changes for yourself you know, you can make the proper changes because obviously a whole lot of you has been worried, worried, worried about the situation. And you're going to be finding out that you can make changes by deciding that this person is going to be removed and have no power over you anymore. Because sometimes we feel powerless because of some sort of an issue and situation that is transpiring. And I see and I feel the sense of powerless came up for some of you because you had no idea what was happening, why things was just so out of range, okay? Then we see the energy of um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. And I see um, some of you are going to be finding out 
um, that a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person at the end of the Scorpion season um, is no longer going to be returning uh, to work or um, maybe it's your mom that their, her contract has ended or this person have gotten themselves uh, um, a termination is here for a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and a termination. So I see that this is happening and this is transpiring for, because uh, um, this person um, could be going on pension. Um, it could be your mom that you had to be helping out financially and that sort of way. And this person is no longer there or this person is going to another family member or this person as a fine balance with their financial life and that is the reason why they're moving forward so if you notice this person if you at the end um of this scorpio this um sagittarian season you're going to be finding and rebalancing out some sort of an issue it could be someone who was living um, at your house and you were have to be helping them out financially so um however this is coming up and transpiring if you notice the two fire of passion in the middle but you're moving forward and completing some sort of a cycle okay so that is a really positive alignment of energy that you're really really moving forward in order to complete um the science that was working on you this person who was uh, um you know it could be that you were financially helping them and that is the reason why that this person is no longer going to be there because maybe they have created their own balance in order to regrade their frequency as how to attract and manifest their money so this is um going to be really a wonderful um, um, period for you guys because it's, uh, as you move out of the Sagittarian period, you're going to be realizing exactly, um, you know, what was happening and how to regain um, your frequency, how to regain stability and your frequency in order to move you forward in a very positive way. So I see a completion with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, whoever this person is. Um, this person is going to be leaving or this person is no longer going to be someone that you have to support. Okay. And you can see this energy coming up and understanding um, how this is going to be coming out and affecting a lot of you. So this is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. So we have hair and we have fire. You are a fire sign. Remember to check in your birth chart um, how this is uh, connecting to you in your birth chart. Do you have Sagittarian um, in your birth chart? Where is Sagittarian in which house? Then you will find out who these people are. Because they will tell, um, if you look at the full moon reading and you have a link, um, you have joined the other channel, the personal channel with the full moon readings, you can use the full moon readings, the extended of the full moon readings in order to find out who are these people and where they are in your life. And then you can understand what is happening did this woman got work um you know did this person move out because they got a new place they got work however it is you're going to be finding out that at the end um as you go to december 21st um you're going to be releasing these things and regain moving forward and regaining your own financial stability so this is um really powerful this is good. Um, remember to choose one or the other. Use the blue join button in order um, to see the extended. It's not really, a, it isn't extended, but it is, um, this reading is going to be longer. And this is the reason why um, it is a young channel. So we still have to um, keep there. So 
you're going to be choosing one or the other and then figure and then that will show you how these people affect you because this is just a general energy and there's a lot of you that is watching the general energy you have to personalize this reading for yourself in order to resolve and know what is the next step for me to do in order to regain my financial stability so i want to say thank you for being here um, please like and share these videos. You can pick these videos up every month. Um, they're going to be coming up at, at this change of every season. So it's not at the beginning of the month. It's always in the middle of the month where the season change. So you will know what is going to be coming up um, when it comes on to abundance, money and prosperity for that season. Who is going to be affecting you in what week? So the first week is the hair week, the second week and uh, the third week in the center, you have balance, you are a fire sign, you're going to be moving forward and completing some sort of a situation that you had to deal with with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion and I see that this is going to be resolved, okay? I do love you guys, please remember to thumbs up if you don't even... If you don't leave a message, thumbs up. I would appreciate it so that uh, um, people can find these readings. People wants to know about abundancy and stability in your world at this time. So thumbs up um, so that these, read these readings can pick up the algorithm. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Yeah.